It is painfully apparent we are badly outnumbered. Hey everybody, Spider Cal back again, and as you can see, I'm going to be doing Turbo Tracks from Transformers Reveal the Shield line. Now, if you've watched my jazz review, then you'll know the whole story about what happened, so I'm not going to go into it again. Um, suffice it to say, there is quite a cool story as to how I managed to pick up um, tracks and also jazz. So I'll head on over to my jazz review and have a look at that. Um, but I just really, I wanted to show the box to kind of like show that I can withhold myself sometimes and I can do a review in the box before I even open it. Um, but absolutely uh, it's so so good, so good. Um, not interesting. Fall back. Good to know. Um, yeah. So there is. I'm sorry about the lighting. Is this kind of? It's it's. It's about seven o'clock at night over here. So um, I've I've got I'm having to resort to indoor lighting. I don't quite know how these are going to turn out, but um, there we go. I just I had to do this straight away because I'm just so thrilled I picked them up. So here is Turbo Tracks, um, and I will open him up, and we'll see what we've got here. Hey, Spider Cal, back again. Um, and as you can tell, change location. If you'd have, if you've seen my jazz review, you'll know why I'm downstairs. But for anyone who hasn't, um, it's basically because the lighting upstairs wasn't quite as good as I wanted. Whereas down here, it's it's a lot lot better. Um, at least I'm hoping it's a lot better anyway. I haven't actually tried it out. But this is uh, the review of tracks. Now, I, I I will go ahead and say this, that I said originally um, in my jazz review that the main, re the main one I wanted was jazz and the tracks I wanted, but not as much as I wanted jazz. It's amazing how much something can change. Because as much as I love jazz, and as much as I think he's an awesome figure and completes the line beautifully, I really, really like this. I, I didn't realise, I, I never actually watched any reviews of this. So when I got it out of the packaging, I looked at it and thought, you know, I actually don't know anything about this. I don't know what it can do, what anything like that. And it's completely blown me away, and I absolutely love it. Now, um, going into some of the details on here first, I love this flame paint job. Just, it, it, it's kind of like, you look at this and, yes, that's tracks. You know, he was always, and, and, and uh, he was always kind of like his, he would shy out of battles in case it damaged his, um, his paint job, and you know, and things like that. And it, it, it shines through well in this, and I really, really like it. I really like. One thing I don't like in car mode is that this does not seem to clip down very well. There, it's, it, it's, it's just this huge line all the way across. Let's see if I can show you that properly. Yeah, there's like this whole gap all the way across, which I just really don't like. But that's the only problem I have with it in car mode. Now I'll just I'll just quickly do this on camera to show show this off. I did not know it did this. I will come out there and say I really did not know it had this feature. I was kind of hoping that they would find a way to incorporate this because it's one of the things I always liked about tracks. I always remember watching um oh now which episode was it where you um let's see if I can think of it while I'm doing this. Um I like this as well, how you kind of rotate that around so then you can put his rocket launchers on the back. <laughs> but you can also have it flush. Uh, I like, like that. Um, what episode was it? Hmm. Now that is going to bug me. It's the one where he they arrive at um, a plant of some kind and Optimus Prime tells them all to all the Autobots to transform, and Trax is sat there and says, um, hold the last order prime, and then transforms with his blades, and then says that he's going to go after the Seekers, and flies off and shoots the Seekers down. Um, I really like that. Um, so yeah, and I've lost my train of thought now. Eh, it'll come back to me. So yeah, so I, I, I really, it's, it's one of the things I always remember about Trax. Um... That as well, and the fact that when they're fighting the Insecticons and Trax kind of falls down, and um, um, it's kind of like, oh, look, the Insecticon tunnel, so he goes down and fires his rockets, 
And then when he gets up the other end, all he says is, I apologise profusely for missing the target, Prime. I just, I always love that line. But there we go. Enough of me rambling on. Um, when I first did this, when I first realised it had the wings, I was thrilled. I thought, oh, that's awesome. You know, it can't, it isn't tracks without having the, the wings, you know. Um, could you even, yeah, you could. You could even kind of fold his wheels. No, you, well, no, you couldn't really. Oh, unless you did that. Yeah, you could fold the, uh, the wheels down as well. So that his wheels were kind of lower down. Hmm. Now there you go. Learn something new every day. As well as the fact that it's falling apart on me now. It's all gone wrong. Anyway. Um, so yeah. I, I, and I love the fact that it's got the wheels. Uh, the wings. Now. <laughs> one thing was when I first did it. And I put it down. I thought. Well that's rubbish. Because the wings are low down. And it, the wheels can't touch the ground. And then I thought. He can fly. What the hell does he want wheels for? You know, he's he's got wings now. He can kind of just take off and fly away. So, but no, I think that's a really good touch, and it, it's it works really well for me. I, I really like that. Really, really cool. And um, I think I like it better now that I folded those wheels down. I suppose that's that's a preference, isn't it? But it kind of it's a bit more steady there now. Um, <laughs> you watch now, people will be saying, "Well, that's how you're supposed to have it." Yeah. Okay. So. I'll just transform him into robot mode, and we'll go through that. And here is Trax in robot mode. Um, very, very, very nice. Um, as I said before, I I originally just bought, picked this up because I really like the Trax figure, but uh, um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, but I was more after Jazz than this guy, and this guy, he. Especially in robot mode, it's just completely blown me away as to how G1-esque he is. And just, I mean, just, just look at that face. Just look at that face. It's it's tracks. You can't look at this and wonder who it is. It is it is definitely tracks. Um, however, it doesn't come with its faults. Well, for me. But not that many. I think it might be just on, on my model. I'm not too sure. The feet here are very, very loose. Um, the same, you can see there, it's kind of very loose legs. It's almost like he's trembling at the knees, um, which makes standing him rather difficult. Um, I mean, obviously, this is on a sofa as well, and uh, he does still stand pretty well, but obviously it's it's not as good as it, as it could be. Um, oh, and his hood there has come up a bit. Hood? Oh, God, I think I'm in America. Um... His, 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 I don't know, <laughs> but um, very, very nice, very nice figure. Um, I really, really like it. It's just all round. It's just, it's just a fantastic, fantastic looking figure. Especially like how you have the uh, the missiles on the back there, and how they can kind of bend to any sort of position. You could have them up high. You could have them pointing down. Um, and here again, same with Jazz. Let's move you off to the side. His uh, handheld gun is, is is really cool as well, and how it can fold up. There we go, and be stored. And that's one thing I didn't mention with Jazz, but it's the same for Jazz and Tracks. The fact that you can store the gun in in car mode. Um, I mean, the, they have done it with a lot of them. Um, but the way they do it, especially with tracks, how you kind of halfway through transforming him into a car, you've got to put the gun in and then fold it over. It's 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 a really nice touch. A really, I, I cannot begin to describe how surprised I am with this. As I say, he was kind of like just, uh, oh cool, there's jazz. Oh cool, there's tracks as well. Oh, I'll, I'll get them both. You know, I, if if experience has taught me one thing, it's never to look at them and think, ah oh, cool. I'll come back and get it another day. You can guarantee it will not be there. Yes, I'm talking to you. Masterpiece, well, Hasbro Masterpiece Grimlock in Toys R Us. And Masterpiece Optimus Prime in Toys R Us. And pretty much every other transfer. Classics Rodimus. Oh, there's so many of them I've seen and thought, cool, I'll get that another day. And regretted it. So, I picked them both up. And I'm so glad I did. So glad. This guy is awesome. Um... So yeah, we'll go on nicely on my stand. So anyway, that's my review of 
reveal the shield tracks thoroughly thoroughly recommend you pick this guy up if you haven't already check tesco check your smaller tescos that would be a lesson as well don't just look at the big ones look at all the small ones look at them all they might just be there you never know um so yeah this is spider cal with trucks hope you enjoyed the review and i will come again at you very soon take care